In Iowa, driving snow and brutally cold weather is turning the race for the Republican nomination into a crawl. I am so sorry that we couldn't be in Fort Dodge. Nikki Haley resorted to telephone town halls Friday, and former President Trump canceled some Saturday events with fears supporters could get frostbite while waiting to get in. Ron DeSantis also canceled events, but he did visit his Iowa campaign headquarters to encourage caucus goers to show up. You're never going to have an opportunity to have your vote count more, pack more of a punch than on Monday night. Very dangerous travel conditions across the state. Parts of the state saw nearly a foot of snow on Friday ahead of a deep freeze. Forecasters say this could be the coldest Iowa caucus day in anyone's memory. There are concerns it could tamp turnout. The weather will probably affect some people from coming out. Um, I think for the next couple days, people will probably just not want to be on the roads. Former President Trump has a dominant lead in the polls, but the caucus could help settle who will be his strongest challenger. Some voters are still deciding. I think a lot of people who might have been Trump before um, and don't want to vote for him this time are just trying to figure out more about uh, the choices. I haven't ever experienced a negative 15 degrees in my life. Candidates hoping they're not left out in the cold as Iowans cast the first votes of 2024. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.